Republicans face a reckoning this week. They're set to vote on whether to oust Liz Cheney from their leadership, from her leadership position, rather. CBS's Christina Ruffini is at the White House tonight. Christina, this move isn't just about leadership. It has bigger implications. That's right, Jerika. This is all about the midterms. A lot of Republicans think they'll have a better chance at taking back the House if they present a united front. And many of them say Liz Cheney is no longer helping them do that. We need a conference chair that is delivering that message day in and day out and uniting the nation. Minority leader Kevin McCarthy initially stood by his conference chair colleague Liz Cheney. When other House Republicans wanted her kicked out of leadership for voting to impeach former President Trump after the January 6 Capitol riots. I don't believe that he should be playing a role in the future of the party or the country. Now... He's standing by someone else. Do you support Elise Stefanik for that job? Yes, I do. Stefanik, who represents a rural part of upstate New York, has a less conservative voting record, but a greater loyalty to the former president. In a press release, Mr. Trump called Cheney a warmongering fool and endorsed Stefanik as a, quote, superior choice. But not everyone in the GOP agrees. They're going to get rid of Liz Cheney because they'd much rather pretend that the conspiracy is either real or not confront it. It just bothers me that you have to swear fealty to uh, the dear leader or you get kicked out of the party. And Jerika Cheney's fate will be decided on Wednesday when House Republicans will take a secret ballot to decide whether or not she keeps her job in leadership. Christina Ruffini for us at the White House. Thank you.